hello my dear students welcome to chemistry classes okay now in this class we are going to deal with the important concept of chemistry that is surface chemistry okay so here the branch of chemistry which deals with nature of surfaces the, the surface chemistry is a branch of chemistry especially it deals with the nature of surfaces nature of surfaces and the changes occurring on the surface is called as surface chemistry so here the changes are just referred to chemical reactions the changes are nothing but the chemical reactions the there may be physical changes or the chemical reactions in this branch of chemistry we are going to deal with the what is the nature of surface and the what are the possible chemical reactions taking place at the surface here so we can use the surface or interface uh, the interface between a liquid and a gas and the interface between solid and liquid and please remember there will be no interface between gas and gas because the if i uh, left uh, if i leave two gases to uh, mix they will mix completely they will form a homogeneous mixture so as homogeneous mixture they don't have any bipurcating surfaces so there will be no surface chemistry we cannot study surface chemistry in case of gases only pure gases but when gas come in contact with liquid there will be a formation of interface isn't it so so we are going to deal with such type of surfaces and what are the nature of those surface and the, what are the chemical changes occurring those surfaces here the, what are the possible changes or possible the chemical reactions that can take place on the surfaces or adsorption on the solution or solid surface adsorption is a surface phenomena which takes place on the surface of solid or on the surface of solution or colloidal properties those are also of pure surface chemistry electrode process because in electrochemistry you are studied about electrodes in electrodes chemical reaction takes place only on the surface of electrodes so it contains surface we have to study in surface chemistry heterogeneous catalysis so by using catalyst what happens the catalyst give these its surface for the chemical reaction as there there takes place some chemical reactions and the surface so we have to study the surface okay next dissolution and crystallization is are also a typical surface reactions the corrosion it is also a, a best example of the surface reaction isn't it so about them we are going to deal with in this topic so these all are the examples and these are important surface effects so these are the important surface effects which are useful to understand many physical and chemical properties of the substance so by understanding the nature of the surface we can understand the chemical and physical properties of the substance so here uh, the best concept we'll study in this topic is adsorption so dear students uh, see the word carefully it is not absorption it is adsorption it's differ from the absorption isn't it so what do you mean by absorption absorption means what the penetration of the molecules into the bulk of the substance is called as absorption for example if you put a sponge in water the water molecules penetrate into the into the body of the sponge isn't it that is called as absorption but this is adsorption here a d s o r p t i o n adsorption so this adsorption means what it is just the accumulation of the molecules only on the surface of a substance so that is called as adsorption for example if i rub this board if i rub this board by duster what happens the dust particles the chalk particles which are present on the board they just accumulate on the surface of the duster so that is nothing but adsorption not absorption so the, these dust particles do not go into the bulk of the substance they will just reside on the surface okay generally the process of accumulation of molecule on the surface of this substance is known as adsorption okay it is just accumulation of the molecules only on the surface so due to the process of adsorption the concentration of the particles is higher at the surface than in the bulk 
so due to the effect of adsorption as adsorption takes place the molecules accumulate only on the surface as a result the concentration of the molecule increases on the surface but there will be no molecule penetrate into the bulk of the substance so there will be no such type of molecule as a result there is the concentration of such molecule is very less inside the bulk isn't it here we will give a perfect definition for the adsorption the phenomena of attracting and retaining yet yeah, this is important the phenomena of attracting and retaining the molecules of a substance at the surface of a solid molecules of the substance at the surface of a solid or a liquid resulting into higher concentration of the molecule at the surface than in the bulk this is called as adsorption so this adsorption is nothing but it just attracting and retaining the molecules over the surface of a substance so as a result of this attraction and retention the concentration of such type of molecule increases only on the surface and there will be no molecule such molecules in the bulk so the concentration is less so this phenomena is called as adsorption okay we'll go for next here due to adsorption surface energy decreases this is uh, important point due to the effect of this adsorption the surface energy decreases yeah so uh, to understand the, the uh, effect of this adsorption so let us understand some basic terms which are used in the adsorption the first one is adsorbent the first term is adsorbent what is adsorbent the solid substance on the surface of which the adsorption occurs is known as adsorbent here the substance on which the substance which provide the surface for the accumulation of the molecule that is called as adsorbent so as i give the, I, I have given given the example the rubbing of the uh, part, uh, the rubbing of blackboard isn't it by using a duster the duster behave as adsorbent because mm -hmm. duster give its surface for the accumulation of dust particle over it so the adsorbent is our duster here this adsorbent may be solid or liquid this adsorbent it may be solid or liquid the next adsorbent the next one is adsorbent adsorbent means what see here the substance that get adsorbed on the solid surface due to intermolecular attraction are called as adsorbate see here this adsorbate adsorbed on the surface of adsorbent adsorbent means what the substance which provides surface for adsorption adsorbate means what the molecules which accumulate over the surface of the adsorbent they are called as adsorbate here in the example of chalk and duster the dust particles are the adsorbate and the duster is the adsorbent isn't it here these adsorbate may be gas or it may be solute in case of some solutions it may be gas or solute next desorption this desorption is the opposite of adsorption please remember this desorption is the opposite of adsorption adsorption means what accumulation of the molecules on the surface here desorption means what the process of removal of the adsorbed substance from the surface on which it is adsorbed is called as desorption so it is just removal of the molecules from the surface is called as desorption so cleaning the duster is called as desorption isn't it we can call it as desorption here we'll rub the uh, board and what we'll do we'll clean the duster while cleaning what happens the dust particle which are accumulated on the surface of the duster they are removed off so that is called as desorption the removal of the adsorbed molecule from the surface is called as desorption here <clears throat> it is a reverse of adsorption and it can be done by heating or by reducing the pressure so in chemical processes it can be done by heating or by reducing the pressure desorption takes place here this picture clearly gives about the terms so desorption means what the we are removal of these molecules from the surface is desorption here this molecule coming here and it will adsorb on the surface so this is adsorbate 
the molecule which accumulate on the surface is called as adsorbate this is adsorbate this is adsorbent because it has given the surface for the adsorption so it is adsorbent this is the surface it is the surface so this is solid phase adsorbent in the solid phase this is adsorbed phase this is adsorbed phase this adsorbed phase it may be a liquid or gas because liquid particles also can be adsorbed or gaseous particle can also be adsorbed and how comes the question why adsorption occurs what is the reason so what is the basic reason to for the adsorption here why why can we guess yeah dear students so this year adsorption is a surface phenomena as already we know that adsorption is a surface phenomena it is because of the unbalanced forces on the surface of solid and liquid here you can see the here this is the the liquid if i take this is liquid and this is the molecule present at the surface and this is molecule present at the bulk here it is because of unbalanced forces here the arrow mark can shows the forces you can zoom it out see here the molecule a and molecule b molecule a is present at the bulk b is present at the surface of the substance here the bulk molecule is attracted from all the directions by the neighboring molecules but if i consider b what happens there are only molecules around b are just below it and just side by this so the attraction provided by this neighboring molecules is unbalanced because there are no molecules to balance the forces upward forces isn't it so the force at uh, attracted uh, the force exerted on this b is unbalanced but a experience balanced forces because it is uh, it is balanced by it is attracted by neighboring molecules in all the directions the particle present in the bulk of the adsorbate are being uniformly attracted from the all the sides of neighboring molecules as a result there is no net full on this molecule so because of balanced force there is no net full on this molecule however the surface molecule is being attracted by the molecule below it only the below molecule can attract the surface molecule because no molecule above it because there are no molecule to attract above this therefore the surface molecule experience a resultant downward attractive force within the material so the surface is under strain or tension due to this unbalanced force to balance this force this surface try to attract the molecules as a result the surface of the solid or liquid tend to satisfy their resist residual forces by attracting the attracting and retaining the molecules of the other species when come in contact with it isn't it i hope all of you understood this okay thank you